Hi, Sarah here. Whether you just love bats or for Halloween, I have this cute bat project to show you today. You will need some non-fraying fabric, so ideally some felt or some fleece. I'm using grey, black and pink. Matching thread, contrasting thread and toy stuffing and your usual pins, needles, scissors and a pen. Print and cut out the Red Rocking Bird templates and then you'll need two fabric pieces from each of these. Also cut out two little circles for the eyes. Here I have two wings cut out of the felt and I'm simply going to stitch them together right around the edge just with a running stitch. So you can do this on the machine or by hand. I've sewn right around the edge and now I'm going to secure with a knot. I'm going to add some detail to the wings as you can see here hopefully I've just drawn on with a pen on this one so you can do it with a contrasting marker pen um, or you can do as I'm going to do here and stitch the detail on so first of all I'm going to draw it on and then very carefully I'm going to do a back stitch and stitch the detail on This just gives an extra bit of detail. If you want a quicker project then you don't need to do this. And I've also stitched round and added the insert bit to the ears. So set these aside for now and we're going to take the body pieces. So we need a piece of cotton thread with a knot on the end. And then take one of your body pieces right sides together, fold it down the centre there and we're simply going to sew these darts up here. So just take your needle and we're just going to do a nice simple running stitch from this middle corner right out to the edge. Secure the threads with a double or a triple knot there. Repeat this for the other three darts just exactly the same. Now take the two little eye pieces of felt and we're going to pin them in place and then stitch nice and neatly with um, a matching thread to the eye and just try and tack them in place so that it's a nice invisible stitch right around the outside of the eye. Once we've added both eyes, we can take our contrasting embroidery thread and we're going to add in some little details for the eyes and the nose. And so I've got a three strands on my needle here and a knot on the end and I'm simply going to make a French knot. Keep this end of the thread taut and wind your needle around four times. Then keep the thread taut, poke the needle back in where 
we came through, keeping that thread taut if you can, and then pull it back through the other side. We're going to repeat that and do it for the two eyes and the same for the nose. If you've not done a French knot before, then maybe just practice on another piece of fabric till you get the hang of it. See here, I'm just doing another one and I've kept it quite a loose French knot so that it gives it a fuller nose. But as long as you get the same tension on the, the thread for both and you get the same size French knot for both, it doesn't really matter really. Just practice and see how you get on. He's starting to look really cute now, I think. So now you can add a mouth and you can either draw this on or you can stitch this on. I tend to draw on and then stitch over the top. You can give him some little teeth there, but this one I've kept just a little smile. That one has a little, two little fangs hanging down. Decorate it as you like, really. So now we come to stitching it together. So. We're going to add the ears in. So if we get our face part, face side up, right side up, and then we're going to turn the ears over and right side down onto there, just as I did there, you can see in the picture. And just pin those in place along that edge. And the same here, bend it over so they always flip. So when we turn it out, right side out, um, that pink bit will be facing the correct way. So neatly pin, pin them in. Hope you like my little pin cushion there. Just made that one out of a piece of felt. And then right sides together and align those little darts at the top there and then just pin around the edge. Then I'm going to add one pin in about a centimetre, which is a third of an inch, away from the ear there. Add a pin there and then the same here. One centimetre or a third of an inch away. Approximately, as long as it's both the same, both sides. Add a pin there because that's going to define where we're going to sew. We want to sew just this top bit. So we're going to sew right round the edge from the pin to pin. And we can just do a nice running stitch, making sure we have some nice fine stitches in there so that we can really grab hold of those ears and make them tight and secure in there so they're not going to come out. So I've done that, I've sewn right around the edge and we can simply now just take the pins out. And this is the cute bit, you get to see him come to life. There we go, turn him right side out, pull the ears out, pull everything into place. Very cute. So for now, keep um, your thread attached because we're going to use that again in a moment. Take your wings, place it in the centre there, in the middle of both and then we're going to align the dart seam there with the point of your wings and add a pin and then we're going to do the same with the back. Add more pins if you're more comfortable doing that but we're simply now going to stitch around the edge of our bat body so that we attach the wings in between. And as I go, I'm going to tuck um, the edge of my fleece fabric in. But if you've used felt for the body as well, just leave it on um, the edge and just simply um, sew it on, directly sew it on. Just make sure you've got them in place. And then simply just do stitches from back to front, back to front, just like I'm doing here. 
through both or well through all three layers of the fabric make sure we keep catching those We're going to continue right round and sew right to about here and then we're going to stop because that is where we'll need to add the stuffing. So I've sewn right round to there and now get some toy stuffing, some fibre filling and we're simply going to use that little hole and poke some of this in until you feel it's as full and firm as you wish just fills him out and gives him a really lovely shape and we're going to do the same at the back as well. Keep taking a look at him and just think, thinking is he full enough yet? Should I add a bit more? Then we'll do the back. Once you have added enough stuffing you can just straighten them up a bit, add a pin in if you need to and then we're just going to sew that gap closed exactly as we did before, trapping the three layers of the fabrics through. Once you've completed your stitching you can just tie your threads off securely and then just give him a bit of a squeeze, pull that um, everything out to where it should be, let the stuffing evenly flow in there and then one list, last little thing I do, go back in to where the needle came out and then we're simply going to find that little point there and we're going to bring the thread through and you can use that thread to tie him up tie him up somewhere on the ceiling or wherever and there he is really cute I'm really happy with him and I hope you make some too if you do like please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get some more of these fantastic patterns and crafty projects thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon bye for now